Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of taking a concept and turning it into a fully animated motion piece. Along the way, we're gonna learn the importance of sketching, building your artwork, and how we can animate that into After Effects. So let's begin. So I had this vague idea of animating a hand-drawn typography piece, but I really didn't have any clear vision of what to write. Then it struck me. I like skulls, I like using them, I like drawing them, heck I even like animating them. So with that, the type idea was born. So with that said, I took out my pen and paper and started drawing. Oh, did I say pen and paper? What I meant was my Huion HS610 drawing tablet, which I had since 2019 I think. Now this video is not sponsored by Huion, so Huion, if you are seeing this, please sponsor me. <laughs> Anyways. I want to clear one thing, you don't need a digital tablet or an iPad to follow along. If you got a piece of paper and a pen, you're all fine. The same goes for the software I'm using, it's Medibank. It's free drawing app and it's quite light. That's the only reason why I'm using it. Now many of you will ask why aren't you using Photoshop and my answer to that is I use Photoshop for a bit more heavy work like when I'm designing something or making a style frame or some important image editing for things like that, I intend to use Photoshop. For this scenario, I'm just getting the idea from my head to a visual medium. It doesn't need to be final or precise at this point. It's just idea exploration. I'm just using this software as an alternative to pen and paper. I'm not using it to make any final art. So if you got Photoshop, use Photoshop. If you want to use any other apps, that's fine too. As long as you are sketching, it's fine. What tools you're using really doesn't matter. If you can take one thing from this tutorial, it's this. Focus on the craft, not on the tools. Okay, I hope we are all on the same page. You can see how rough the sketches are at this point. I'm just exploring anything and everything. I'm trying out different placements, trying different types of skulls, playing with weird shapes and scales. These thumbnail sketches are great practice to get everything out. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. We are just exploring all the options in our head. After doing a couple of these, I finally chose one to move forward with. I created a new page and used the thumbnail sketch as a reference for my final drawing. I kept building over this drawing, moving things around, adding things, making some of it thicker and constantly art directing myself till I'm happy with the results. Once the sketch was done, I took it into Illustrator and started building it with the pen tool. Again, you can see I'm not following the original sketch to the teeth. I'm constantly changing things up to make it look better. So in any stage, if I can improve the design, I will. So you see, if I had spent more time in my final sketch, I didn't have to do these sort of adjustments to my final build. So that just shows how important the sketching part is. It basically takes out the guessing work out of your design and you can just go in and build your artwork without any adjustments. One thing to point when I was done building it, I end up rounding up all the corners of the design. It just gives the whole piece a bit professional look. I layered everything up nice and clean and also added a background. With that, our design is done and it's time to animate. I imported the illustrator file as a composition in After Effects. I opened this comp and started changing each layer's anchor point. I tried to get them to center but it didn't need to be highly accurate. As you can see, I'm just eyeballing them as close as I can. After this, I selected the first layer and hit P to reveal its position. Right click over it and choose separate dimensions. I just wanted to animate the up and down position of the layer. So that's why I did it. I added an wiggle expression to the Y value. I right click on the Y value and chose copy expression only. Then selected the rest of the layers and pressed Ctrl V to paste it. And that will basically copy that expression only to all the layers Y value. But as you can see, it's the same expression. I went into each layer and changed it manually. And now you can see all the layers are moving randomly. I created a new composition with same settings as the previous one and named it Final. I dragged the SAC comp inside that final composition. 
I also imported this paint texture I made a while ago and opened up the interpret footage settings and looped it a couple of times so it's a bit longer than the original clip. I put it over the SAC comp and used it as an alpha mat so we get this nice texture look all over these words. After this I imported a grungy texture set to screen blending mode and added a curve effect to really give it a high contrast. I animated its position changed the keyframes to hold keyframes and looped it using a simple loop out expression. I imported another texture and added the invert effect to change the color. Changed the blending mode to multiply. So now it's black dots instead of the white and repeated the same process I did with the previous texture. I added a roughen edges with a low border value to the SAC comp to make the edges a bit more rough and grungy. Added a shape layer stroke to create an overall border around the comp and copy pasted the roughen edges from the SAC comp. And finally finish everything up with an adjustment layer with some noise and posterize time set to 8. The reason why I did this tutorial is to show you the importance of planning before starting any motion graphics project. How you should always plan and design first and only after that jump into animation. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like it, please leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials like this in the future. Now this project file is free to download, but I won't mind if you can donate something. That would be really appreciated. Again, if you can only afford. So if you can't, it's completely fine to download it for free, okay? Don't think on it too much. I wish you all a very happy new year, all the best for 2024, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.